Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. This is our regular uh, MLB divisional betting update show that we do with Doug Upstone. Today is August 21st, and right now we're going to take a look at the AL West. Doug Upstone, thanks for being with us. Peter, I'm glad to be back here once again. And the, uh, again, another division in the American League where there's been a lot of uh, <laughs> turnover, and the Oakland A's, the most solid team in baseball all years, have are in the tank at the present time. Yeah, for sure. All right, so let's uh, review your forecast from last call. You had uh, two excellent calls and one doozy. Your two good calls were, uh, you said, bet on the Angels, and they have continued to win and be profitable. 11-7, and seven, great record. They do have high, uh, you know, um, favorite line, so only 7.5% ROI, but still very profitable. And then you also recommended a bet against Texas, which might be the uh, the no-brainer bet of all of baseball for the past month or so, and they went 6-12, and 12, minus 26% ROI since our last video. So those were two excellent calls, Doug Upstone. Then, though, you said bet on Seattle on the road and against Seattle at home. And they were a bad bet on the road, but a great bet at home. Four and five, minus 13.5% ROI on the road, but eight and one, plus 43% ROI at home. All right, so that's the situation in the in the AOS from our last video. And um, Seattle and Houston have both been very bull. Let's start with Oakland. As you said, for a while, Oakland was, uh, you know, one of the clear top five teams to bet on in baseball, but minus 25% ROI since our last video. What's your take on Oakland right now? I, th I think it's a combination of things. Uh, you know, the, the pitchers that they picked up from the Cubs, Samarj and Hamill, have not done the job, and both Casimir and uh, Sonny Gray have leveled off. And so I think you see uh, problems there. A lot of people have mentioned they've missed Cepedas in the batting order, uh, but with the Red Sox, he really hasn't done anything there either. So I think it's just a general decline. And in watching this team play, Peter, I think they're playing a little bit tight. You know, I think, you know, the, now that the pennant race has picked up, the Angels have caught them. They just don't look quite as loose and free. You know, they had all, they, I think they had 11 or 12 uh, ninth inning uh, wins uh, earlier in the year. And uh, you're just not seeing the same, uh, let's just say, enthusiasm with this team that they had earlier. And then let's get to Texas. Maybe the easiest money in uh, all of baseball, maybe going forward as well. Minus 26% ROI since our last video. Minus 20% ROI overall on the year. That's dead last in baseball is that a no-brainer bet that you think uh, continues going forward with value? <laughs> Peter I, it, I I couldn't this might be the the play of the year right now <laughs> <laughs> with, with Texas to play against them and as bad as they've been now consider this in their next 36 games okay 29 of them will be against the three teams that are uh, that are ahead of them in the division uh, the Angels Oakland and Seattle Plus, they also have six games with Kansas City, plus a series with Atlanta. 29 of 36 against teams in hot, red hot pennant races. Good luck, Texas. <laughs> All right, and then let's get you know to the Angels. You know that you know credit where credit is due. The Angels plus nine percent overall ROI on the year. That's second best in baseball, and they continue to win. They continue to be profitable. Do you think that continues? You've had a great read on the Angels so far this year, and, uh, you know, I, as you know my feeling on the Angels, it makes me a little bit nervous with the big names in their starting rotation and in their lineup. They seem like a team that can easily get overvalued, but you've been correct with uh, your calls to bet on the Angels so far this year. What do you think, Doug? Well, I, you know, they're, they're a steady team, and I think that's the thing, and I credit Mike Sosha for that. You know, there hasn't been too many ups or downs, you know, with this team. But I think the loss of Garrett Richards, boy, I, I think that's going to be a tough one to overcome. Not necessarily for the regular season, but when they get into the postseason, because he is their best pitcher. And, you know, and that means everybody else has to step up, and they're going to have to try and find a fifth starter. I, I'm not saying I, I'm off the Angels officially at, at this time. I want to see what happens over the next couple of weeks. You know, they, and they still have 17 games remaining with Oakland and Seattle to dis, uh, to, uh, to determine their own fate. Uh, but at this point, I'm just gonna I'm gonna take off take off of them and see what happens. So uh, let's get to the forecast for our next video. Uh, Seattle and Houston were both very profitable since our last video. Seattle plus 19 and a half percent, Houston plus 24 percent, and uh, trends. You know, Texas. We talked about that. Big trend uh, betting against. Seattle's been a good under trender, and uh, particularly at home, 64% unders at home. And the Angels have been very profitable on the year. So what are your forecasts for the AL West going forward? Doug Upstone. What I'm, what I'm looking for, of course, is to play against Texas, okay. as I mentioned. I would also at least consider that Los Angeles Angels at home. They've been really good there all year, so I would still continue to look for them. And the Houston Astros, I would look to play against them on the road because their schedule the rest of the season is brutal when they're away from home. All right, so your forecasts are bet against Texas, bet um, against Houston, but only on the road. Is that correct? That is correct. And bet on the Angels anywhere or bet on the Angels only at home? 
only at the Big A in Anaheim. All right, Doug Upstone. We'll see how these turn out. Thanks so much.